Welcome back, guys. Um, <clears throat> talking about a specific event today that is coming up. Uh, I'm going to try and get this one up uh, today, same day I record it. Um, but this is about an event that's coming up next week, and it also kind of talks about a little broader topic, and that is roadside inspections. Um, the CVSA, alongside uh, state DOT officers, um, conduct what is called um, Blitz Week or Roadside Inspection Week. Um, I'll put the links in the descriptions. The CVSA um, is a group that's that kind of spearheads this whole thing. Um, once a year, they have a, a week where they do a whole bunch of roadside inspections. And there's actually seven different kinds of inspections. I'll put a link to the different kinds of inspections in the description of this video as well. Um, some of them you'll never have to worry about because some of them have to do with government owned vehicles, uh, things like that. But they're gonna be doing a whole bunch of what are called level one inspections this week. And a level one inspection is the whole kit and caboodle. They're going to be checking, do you have your CDL? Do you have your medical card? Do you have your long form of your medical card? Um, and then they're going to be doing a vehicle inspection. So let's talk about that and what that means. Uh, to give you an idea, Blitz, uh, the DOT Blitz, is a three-day event. This year it is next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 6th, 7th, and 8th. Um, and they're going to be doing, during those three days, approximately, and this is across the United States, Canada, and Mexico, 17 inspections per minute. Now, that said, this is going to be my third DOT blitz. Um, I did not get inspected during either of the previous two. Um, I know some guys who have been driving for many years and have never had an inspection done during DOT blitz. Um, and you can also get an inspection done outside of DOT Blitz time. So um, this is not a, this is the only time you, you can get an inspection. Um, but I wanted to talk about the Blitz. I wanted to talk about that. I do also want to mention, if you're coming to Prime and you're wondering how this all works, if you pass an inspection as a company driver, Prime is going to pay you. Um, when you pass an inspection, you're going to get a, a sheet uh, of paper. Notification of inspection, uh, you pass all conditions, and that's no matter what level, level one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven level inspection. And again, there's a list of what they are. Some of them you'll never get, I forget which level, to level five inspections, like a government uh, owned vehicle inspection. You're never gonna get one of those driving for Prime. But if you scan any one of those, unless you've been pulled over for a violation, so if you get a speeding ticket, they're going to do one of the levels of inspection, or a, or you pulled over for a warning, they're going to do one of the levels of inspection. They're going to give you the piece of paper. You're going to have to scan that no matter what. If you get pulled over for speeding, whatever, you're not going to get the bonus. But as a company driver, if they pulled you over just to do a random inspection, Prime as a company driver is going to pay you $25. Prime as a lease operator, independent contractor, will pay you $100. That's for a clean inspection, no violations. Doesn't matter if it is the level three, which is they're checking your credentials only. That means they want to make sure you have a valid CDL and that your medical card is on file. And they're checking insurance on the vehicle. Or if they're doing a level one, which is we're checking the whole dang truck. Um, there's also, what is it, a level seven is they're checking the truck and there's no driver there. That's obviously one that, you know, if you're not there, it's going to be hard to ding you, but they may call Prime and say, I don't know whose truck this is, but it failed 11, 7, level 7 inspection. Uh, but at any rate, you pass that. It's kind of a, hey, we want to make sure you keep your truck in good condition. Again, as a company driver, you don't need to pay for repairs. If something goes wrong, something's out of service, your tires are out of service, they're worn below specs, 
you go in and you get them replaced, you're not going to have to pay for them. Um, but as a, hey, to make sure you keep on top of that sort of thing, if you get an inspection, first of all, if you get an inspection, you can be placed out of service. You can't drive until you get the item repaired or replaced that is out of spec. And Prime's not going to be very happy with that, especially if you're a company driver where you had no real excuse because they were going to take care of it for you. They're going to pay for it. Um, so it's a, it's a little, hey, here's 25 bucks to make sure you keep your truck in good condition. So there's that. Again, that can happen anytime. It's not just during this DOT blitz. But, like I said, just to give you an idea of what they're going to check, they're going to grab my wallet here and say... Okay, you've got a CDL, they're going to run it through their system. Is it a valid CDL? Is it in good standing um, with, for me, the state of Indiana? They're going to say, let me see your medical card. And my medical card is right here. It's slipped into the back. Probably should have grabbed this out before I... Did it. It's right here. Yes, I do actually have my medical card. My medical card is right here. And they're going to take a look at my medical card. They're going to say, when does it expire? Okay, it expires on uh, January 1st of 2018. That is my medical card. Um, the place I went through didn't actually have a card. They have a piece of paper, which is why it's folded up real small and hard to find in the back of my wallet. Okay, you've got a medical card, it's registered with the state of Indiana, you've got it in your wallet. Now, let's see the long form of your medical card. You may not be familiar with this. Long form of your medical card. This is everything else that the doctor filled out when you went through your physical. It is five pages long. And this needs to be with you. This doesn't need to be readily accessible, but you need to have it. I personally keep it in, and as you've seen the paperwork, I keep it in my folder with my bills of lading. So they'll do all that, and they'll check and make sure it's all registered with the state of Indiana. If I'm, I'm currently in Ohio recording this video, but they'll make sure that that's all up to date. And then they'll go and they'll do, essentially, a pre-trip inspection of your truck. Open the hood. They'll check the tires. They may ask if you, they may have tire pressure gauge, or they may ask if you have a tire pressure gauge, check the tire pressure. Independent of, if you recall uh, on the technology video that we have the tire pressure monitoring system. They, because if you have gone through any pre-trip stuff, it says checked with a gauge. That's not a tire pressure monitoring system. But they may have a tire pressure gauge and say, we're going to check the tire pressure on your vehicle and make sure that everything's up to spec. They'll check brakes, check the brake lining. Um, they'll check everything that you would check on a pre-trip and post-trip vehicle inspection. And it has to be up to code. It has to pass. You have to have the proper tread depth. You have to have... Uh, four thirty seconds of tread on your steer tires. You have to have two thirty seconds on your drive tires. They will get a tread depth gauge measurement gauge out and check. You can't say, well, it looks good enough. They're not going to grab a penny. Does it go past Lincoln's? They're not going to do that. They're going to actually measure. And that's what a roadside inspection is. And again, they're going to do a ton of them. Um over that three-day period coming up next week, uh, 6th, 7th, and 8th of June. They do it once a year, and if you'll read the uh, link in my description, they tend to have an area of focus. Last year it was brakes. I don't remember what it was two years ago. This year it is cargo securement. Flatbedders, take note. Um, I don't have as much to worry about in that department. Is anything leaking when I leave? If I stop in route, is anything leaking? My car goes secure. There's not much else I can do about it. It's constantly moving in the tank. Um, but flatbedders, 
That is going to be a point of emphasis. Do you have the proper chains, pro proper straps for the weight of the load? Um, is it, you know, I, I know there was a guy who got a ticket, um, a YouTuber who got a ticket in New York or Pennsylvania, I don't remember which, because he did not have a chain on, oh, I think it was a boom lift, um, and didn't have uh, the boom lift chain down. Anyway, that's going to be a point of emphasis on this year's DOT Blitz. Um, where are you going to get your inspections for the most part? Way stations. And we've talked about the, uh, the pre-pass previously on that technology video. Where, for the most part, I get a lot of green lights. You don't have to pull in. You may see more red lights coming up in the, the three-day period. Now, for me... I passed two way stations this last week. Um, now this is the week after Memorial Day. Um, I had all Memorial Day weekend off, but if I go from Tuesday through Friday, I passed two way stations. One of them was closed and did not have pre-pass. That was in Pennsylvania. Um, the other one in Ohio was open and I got a green light on it. I personally do not run past a ton of way stations. Does that mean I should run illegal and not worry about being inspected? Absolutely not. There are other places they, they will randomly pull trucks over. You may see vehicles in the, in the median, um, and, and it, you may or may not have paid attention. Uh, vehicles that say commercial vehicle enforcement, police vehicles that say that on the side of them, they will just randomly say, well, I'm going to pull that prime tanker over because I haven't pulled anybody over in 15 minutes. Time to go do an inspection. Um, they may pull into a rest area. Say, I'm going to inspect all the guys that I see that are here right now. So, they will be doing a bunch of inspections. Just because I haven't had an inspection, just because I know guys who over the course of five, seven years during Blitz have not had inspections. And it's not something you should be afraid of. Um, quite honestly, I kind of hope to get an inspection because I'd, I'd like a $100 bonus as a lease operator. It'd be nice to get paid $100 for keeping my truck in good condition. I, I have new brakes and new tires on my truck. I'm not worried about that. Everything else, you know, when they, they did that, they checked everything else over and my truck's in good condition. So uh, I would not be worried about getting an inspection. And boy, wouldn't that be nice to get $100 just for doing what you're supposed to do. So DOT Blitz coming up next week. Thought it made for a good, interesting topic, something you may or may not have heard about if you're just coming to Prime. Again, if you're thinking about coming to Prime, link right in the description takes you to the application so you don't have to go search it. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again next week.